Hello everyone, Ioni here with Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps and I appreciate you joining me today for this video. It's been a little while since I made one. Today I'm going to be making a remake called Lavender Dream. It is a hanger swirl technique and I haven't wanted, done one of those for a while so thought I would do one today with you all. I'm uh, adding the lye solution to the oils, which are all melted and ready to go. I'm soaking at about 90 degrees. And I'm going to be adding milk as well to this recipe. So I have warmed it up just a little bit too. I don't want to add cold milk into the warm solution. So I'll just uh, be doing that now and then we'll be sectioning off for some spot colors. Now I've just gotten the soap emulsified. I don't want it real thick because I want a, just a medium trace for the pour. And I've made up four colors ahead of time here. The first one is white. I made it with uh, white mica. The next color is a dark purple which I made with ultramarine blue and electric bubble gum and a little black oxide. The third color is a light pink. I made this with electric bubble gum and white mica. And our last color, if I can hang on to the container, <laughs> is a light green and I made it with neon blue raspberry white mica, and fizzy lemonade. All my colorants that I'm using today I got from Brambleberry. Now I'm just going to be stirring them all up, making sure I've got the color right, and adding a little more if I need to. The pink I wanted a little bit lighter, so I'm just adding more white mica to it, just to lighten it up a couple shades. Yeah, that's better. Pretty. I love this green too. Now the base color, I am going to make a light lavender color and I've made up a little uh, purple with the ultramarine blue and electric bubble gum, but I'm going to be adding it very slowly so that I don't get it too dark. I'm also not adding any titanium dioxide or white mica into this part of the soap because I do want to gel it and I don't want to have glycerin rivers. I think I've got it just about where I want it right now. So with the colors all made up now, I'm going to be adding the fragrance. I'm using two lavender fragrances. And I'm also adding a little bit of sweet patchouli from Nature's Garden. That is the sweetest, nicest floral smell. It's not like the uh, patchouli that you think of from the 70s.
so I'm just going to be putting the fragrance in the spot colors and then into the main batch. all the fragrance oil is in I'm going to be pouring off a little of the main batch here into an equal portion as the spot colors are because I'm going to pour the rest of the batch all into the mold but I want some of that color in through the the top portion as well so that's why I'm doing it this way Okay, let's get our mold over here and begin. This is always the most fun part for me. <laughs> that all the soap is poured I'm going to be doing the hanger swirl part and I'm just going uh, down to the bottom and doing some figure eights as I come up to the surface then I'm going to be going back down inside the middle and doing some graduated circles and then I'm going to follow that up with doing some figure eight side to side clean up the sides a little bit and then uh, for the top I'm just going to be doing the uh, dollops of the balance of the spot colors across the top and then doing a chopstick swirl.
I think that's pretty. So let me get you a little closer so you can have a, a better look at it. And then we'll be back in 24 hours after the soap is gelled and we'll cut it up and see what it looks like inside. So these are our finished bars of Lavender Dream. I really love them. Every single bar came out really nice. They're unique but have a beautiful design that's going to be nice all the way through when the bar is used. They weigh between six and six and a half ounces. Nice large bars. And we got some little samples here out of our end cut that uh, will be nice to put in orders and this little oval uh, travel bar out of the uh, leftovers in the containers. I always love it when that happens. Anyway, thank you for joining us for this video. We hope to see you for our next one. Bye for now.